Whew, another day in paradise. Feels good, guys. Happy to be here. Aloha, Paradise Crew. If you're new here, my name is Griff. Alyssa and I, we go all around the world traveling, cruising, visiting different ports, cruise lines, destinations, things to do, cruise tips. So if you're into that, please click the subscribe button. Please click the notification bell. It's free for you. It helps us out a lot. Because in this video, we're talking about seven cruise mistakes that first time cruisers often make and man if if I would have known these before our first cruise they would have been so helpful so let's jump right into this thing the number one cruise tip that first time cruisers make is actually Now jumping right in, the first cruise mistake that first time cruisers often make is booking their flight on cruise day. I can't stress this enough, do not do it. When it comes to cruising, you wanna book the flight a day before, okay? So let's say that your cruise is on Saturday, you're gonna wanna make sure that your flight is gonna be on Friday night or Friday midday. You wanna get there a day before because stranger things have happened. We've had flight cancellations, we've had bad weather, we've had flight delays, layovers, you've had flights that are overbooked. Keeping that stuff in mind will help prevent you from missing your cruise the next day. So listen to this tip, book your cruise the day before. Sorry, book your flight the day before. Oh man, this next tip is something that I'm so embarrassed to say that happened to us and it was not having enough cash to tip the porters. Now, if you don't know what the porters are because this is your first time cruise, it's the people that handle your bags. So once you arrive to the port terminal and you get off and you're excited for your cruise, got an email anyway and you're excited for your cruise, um, they're gonna take your luggage from you. And often they say those words of gratuities are necessary, but they're often you know, appreciated. And there's this one instance when we were sailing the Norwegian Escape and I forgot to bring smaller bills. I think we, oh man, it was so embarrassing. I reached into my pocket, got my wallet out, ready to tip the guy and I didn't have anything to give him. Avoid that mistake. Avoid what I did. I don't want that happening to you. It's embarrassing. It kind of just tugs at you a little bit. But we end up getting our bags a little later than normal. So just make sure you bring singles or loose bills um, to tip the porters, tip your bartenders, tip your excursion people, stuff like that. And since you just arrived to the port, you're about to get on the ship. So our next cruise mistake that we made was getting on the ship and forgetting to pack swim trunks or bikinis inside of our carry-on bag. Now, if you don't know what a carry-on bag is, it's basically the thing that you bring on the ship after your luggage has been checked. So the luggage that's been checked will get to your room a couple of hours later. The most we've ever seen is about four hours. So as far as the carry-on bag, and if you need to know what cruise essentials go inside the carry-on bag, watch this video right here. That's gonna let you know what you should put inside of that bag. It gives you some tips and tricks there. But we forgot to bring our swim trunk. So we went straight to the pool, grabbed some drinks. We're ready to hop into that pool and have some fun but we didn't have any swim trunks, so I had to sit in the pool with my khaki shorts, looking goofy, but you know, it was fun, we had a good time, but bring a spare bikini, bring a swimsuit, some swim trunks for your kids, make sure that's with you inside of your carry-on bag. Now, the next tip is after you've had fun in a pool, you've had drinks, usually you will grow an appetite. Now, when you have that appetite, appetite that when you have that appetite the first thing you want to do is go to the buffet and I can't stress this enough um, going to the buffet you need to prepare yourself that it's gonna be really really packed all right so when I say packed I mean lots of people long lines and if you don't want to be in line waiting for fries to be refilled and your burger to be made try scanning the ship for alternative places um, most cruise lines, they have free food aside from the buffet. So there's pizzas, um, so pizzerias, there's sandwich shops, there's barbecue places. If you're in Carnival, there's the Pig and Anchor. Usually on the first day, that place is empty, but it's open. So check that out. So um, the mistake there is going to the buffet. It's going to be packed. Try to find something else to eat or you'll be waiting in line for a very long time. The next cruise mistake that cruisers often make is going to the elevator. Now, 
we don't take the elevator normally like to take the stairs but there was this case on my first time cruise that i decided to take the elevator because no one was on that floor it was like deck seven deck eight or whatever and i was like oh it's empty i'll just take the elevator down um it'll be fine right i wanted to go to the main lobby get a c pass card because mine chipped but here was the catch. As I'm waiting for the elevator, I'm noticing that it's taking a long time. And I started to play a couple of games on my phone, text Alyssa, and then before I knew it, I had been waiting at the elevator for about five minutes. And I was like, what is going on? And I decided to walk around the corner because this ship allows you to kind of see out and see the floors down. I think we're on the Freedom of the Seas. You saw herds of lines of people still getting on the ship, like floor by floor. And those amounts of people waiting for the elevator was causing the elevator to just be held up, which was crazy. So my tip for first time cruisers to avoid mistakes is before you actually use the elevator, because there's nothing wrong with using the elevator, um, check the floors to see if any lines are there and that'll let you know if you can take the elevator quickly. The next cruise mistake that first time cruisers often make is the failure to plan or basically setting up time to make your reservations for those dinners, uh, the shows, the things that you might be interested in. Um, whether it's climbing the rock wall, having a fun specialty dining experience, laser tag, um, the aqua theater, or maybe some cool show like, you know, uh, the Rat Pack, stuff like that on Norwegian, make sure you have set aside the proper time to reserve that show. Um, failure to you know, plan is preparing to fail. And often when you go on cruises and people forget this, they end up missing the shows. So one of the cruise mistakes is make sure you reserve these shows and these activities in advance. Now let's say you forgot to make those reservations. Another idea is actually to show up maybe 30 to 45 minutes earlier than expected, no big deal. Grab a few drinks with your friends, walk down to the show, wait in line a little bit and see if they can squeeze you in. Or if they do let you in, enjoy your drinks, have some fun conversations with your friends, your family, your wife, your husband, stuff like that. Engage with each other and then watch the show start. So that's a good way to get ahead if you haven't set aside the proper time to schedule those shows. The next cruise mistake is failure to make sure you take a look at your cabin before setting sail. Now, there's a small story where I went into the room and I did not check the shower. So when you first get to your room, make sure things are in pristine condition. So make sure the bed's made, make sure no one was there before you, right? Check the sheets, make sure those are good to go. Turn on your water in your bathroom and run shower. Uh, doing these things make sure that you are set for an awesome cruise and if there are any issues you can let the steward know to fix them. There's this one time Freedom of the Seas uh, went to the bathroom, ran the water but I didn't run the shower and once we got back from playing at the pool all day I turned on the shower and it had a small leak and I was like it's a small leak, a small amount of water coming out of the hose, right? No big deal. Um, I walked out of the bathroom to get my stuff ready to take the shower and then I came back in maybe like five to ten seconds later and the hose had like turned to a bigger hole and it was shooting water out onto the mirror, out onto my computer, on my stuff. And like nothing was damaged, but still it like something could have been damaged. So their room steward came in and he fixed it and stuff like that. But that would be my mistake for you to avoid. Go ahead and check the room first, like you do any other hotel, stuff like that. And this last tip is one of my favorite tips because I like to think of myself as a photographer. And often when you go on vacation and a person that takes all the photos for you, you know, say cheese, take a picture from mom and dad and stuff like that, you forget yourself to get inside of those photos. You know what I'm saying? So if you like selfies and you like taking photos, make sure you get enough of the background with you in it or have a stranger, have a friend or someone take a photo of you in it. That way when you get home, you can actually show off your vacation to your friends and family and have proof that you were there because there's been several times of vacations that I've gone through the photos and I'm like, wow, I am not in any of these. If it wasn't for our vlogging and capturing the experience, um, <laughs> I wouldn't, wouldn't know if I went or not. Isn't that crazy? So take some photos of yourself, make sure you have a nice background behind you. That is a cruise mistake that people forget to do. Now, the question of the day is, what are the mistakes you've made as a first time cruiser to help other first time cruisers avoid those mistakes? Write them in the comment section below because this is a community driven channel. It helps people out. Also, it'll prevent other mistakes in the future, right? Let someone else enjoy their vacation. Uh, if you dig the vibes, 
please subscribe and if you care please share we'll see you guys in paradise Thank <laughs> you.